Oh, Chaku, just with the... Come on, man, you can't be doing that to me. Stop it. What up, you screen bean? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, I think it's, it's just so cute. Little screen beans, because you're a, a bean watching a screen. <laughs> Well, hi, you screen bean. My name's Jordan Norman. I'm a professional film editor, and I've been able to edit some awesome music videos for artists like Justin Bieber, Post Malone, Roddy Rich, Tyga G Easy, Quavo, Kalani, Sway Lee, a few other ones. Welcome back to another episode of Music Video Editor Reacts, where I react to music videos from a music video editor perspective. I've had a lot of requests from you all saying to react to Black Swan because it's a bop. And you know what? Let's see. Let's see if it's a bop. Black Swan. I'm so excited for this. What? No, I don't want a PS5. I want to win BTS. I make that joke every time. <laughs> this is such an epic way to. This is artful and beautiful and perfect the way that it is. Look, look how we just start wide on a single spotlight. And then. Jimin just takes us on a journey, puts his hands up, and then psh, everybody's there. That's just what humans love. We love getting our expectations defied. We saw one person, he puts his hand up, cut to the next shot, a bunch of people there were like, pfft, plot twist, that was awesome. And my favorite part is the framing in this shot. We just have a black void. The song has a lot of dark feelings within it, hence the name Black Swan. And I love how that shot just shows the darkness with the way that it's framed. Look at this theater! Wow. Go off, How do I dance like that? That's, ooh. So the song Black Swan is about being stifled creatively. You feel like you're in a dark place. You don't feel inspired. A lot of the lyrics are talking about you're listening to music, but you can't feel anything anymore. Thanks, this is the best day of my life. I'm killing myself tomorrow. That is the fear that BTS has in the song. And so they talk about that. The lighting shows that so well by creating a lot of dark spaces within the frame. And it's really awesome. <laughs> Wow, I love how we just hold on that one shot for just a long time because it's such an interesting shot. It's a super wide angle lens. And so what actually happened here is we have Jimin over here, kind of in the seats where the light's shining, and he's just standing in front of the light, just kind of going like this, doing his dance, and it creates this really interesting shadow in the background of Sugar's rap. And then I just love, because it's such an interesting shot, we just can hold on it. We don't have to cut. We can keep the editing pace really nice and slow. So anytime anything kind of like just passes in front of the scene, it's a great time to cut. But this time we don't just cut. This time we create a mask actually. So once the boys cross in front of each other, the space that is in between them shows through to the next shot. And so that requires a little bit of masking, a little bit of animation, but it creates a really cool seamless transition as it's almost like curtains are being opened up in front of us. Boom, next scene. It's amazing. Wow. And again, there's a shadow at the top of the screen. I'm sure there's a light down here in the stairwell. And I believe J-Hope is in front of it doing some dancing moves, creating the shadow on the ceiling. <laughs> I just love the symmetry of the cinematography in this video, that we're using a lot of symmetry in wider shots to just capture the majesticness of the location. Oh, 
I love wide angle lenses. Look at this. Because we have all these pillars going up into the ceiling, we have a lot of converging lines. All these lines point up into the middle of the ceiling, which is where our subject is. And that is just an aesthetic element that helps us draw our attention to where it needs to be in the screen. Oh gosh. I love wide angle lenses, bro. They just make me feel so cool, bro. transition of going from him just dropping to tilting down okay lumpins i see you wow that's beautiful wow, wow. that was incredible this is one of my favorite cuts that I've seen so far. You enter a room and forget why you went in there. <laughs> what you say? Oh, that's right. I was getting chased by a serial killer. Because it's a close-up to close-up match cut transition, but it's not really a match cut because we're not taking the character and cutting to a different scene with him in the exact same place. Instead, he's ducking down, and then we cut to a new place, and then he pops back up in a new place. That's just a genius cut. It's just really good filmmaking. Just good editing, bro. All right, so I wanna tell you guys about something really exciting called the Bean Club. So the Bean Club is really cool because it is now a place where I get to connect with you all on a deeper level. I'd love to just talk about life, faith, music videos, anything that you want, private chat with you, have exclusive live streams, exclusive reactions that only you can see, a Twitter follow, voting power for new reactions. I'll put your name in a YouTube video description, 20% off all my merch and early access to YouTube episodes coming out. All of this encompasses the Bean Club. The big thing that you will get though is you will get four plus exclusive reactions only on the Bean Club per month. And in addition to those four per month, you will get all of the other exclusive reactions that I've done. And oh, there's some gems in there, y'all. You don't wanna miss that. So hit the link in the description to join the Bean Club today day and oh it's gonna be awesome join the bean club link in the description yes and now we're in a slow motion scene during the instrumental was that vfx or was that real because that looks crazy this is some of the best vfx i've seen getting you guys have too much money bro I think a huge thing that helps is the sound, but also look at the texture of the feathers. Like they don't look fake. This looks like the fuzziest thing ever. I just want to give it a hug, bro. Cause that's, that looks fuzzy as frick. He's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. Yes, J-Hope. I love J-Hope's verse here because he's getting positive again. He's like, bro, we're gonna get back in the studio. We're gonna make things happen. It's okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna push it out and it's gonna be great and that's awesome. Oh, what was that lyric there? Wow, okay. Whenever you're showing a close-up in anything, you're, you're telling the audience to pay attention to this moment. And so I don't understand Korean, so I didn't know what he was saying here. So I had to turn on the lyrics and see what he was saying. He's almost creating a mirror effect where he says, hey, I'm talking to myself. And we have this like over the shoulder shot, like almost like he's talking to himself in a mirror. They did the same shot in Fake Love where they kind of like put their hands up and talk to themselves. That's a super interesting thing that I'm seeing repeated in BTS's work. I love this shadow shot where they just have harsh lighting so it creates a strong shadow on this wall and then he's reaching out to himself right before they say the lyric and I saw myself. I almost think it would be better to show this shot during this I I saw myself. If you saw I saw myself, that to me is a lot more powerful than him just looking into the camera and saying I saw myself. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know which which way you like to edit a little bit better. It's fun to experiment with. Oh! 
Oh, Chaku, just with the... Come on, man, you can't be doing that to me. Oh, come on. The performances are so good. That's why BTS is so good, man. That's cool, okay, so I don't know if you noticed this, but Jin turns around right here, but all of his other reflections, except for this little tiny one that you can see, didn't turn around. So the way that they do that is you set the camera, and then you shoot him just staring at himself, and then what you do is we just cut out this little bit right here. And then you include that part of the shot for the outside parts of the image, and this part is a different shot that's playing, but we can't tell that it's two different shots because it's a static camera and the background always remains the exact same. Angle lens are the, the lenses are crazy. Oh my god, he's going off. Bro, I'm in conflict, dude. This might be one of my favorite shots of the video. Look at these stills. Like, look at the way that his body looks because of the wide angle lenses. Like, his foot looks so close, his head looks so far away. It's just amazing. And then watch the camera operator here in this camera movement. The camera operator adjusts the speed at which the camera is traveling back to the choreography. Watch. Slow, fast, slow, fast. Oh, so good, bro. That's so good. Just those details, bro. Jimin's such a good dancer, bro. I think Jimin might be just off of this video, bro. Like that's insane. That's insane. That's stupid. That's a tough shot to do. This right here is a very difficult shot to do. They really had to hoist the camera up like this. So they're on a movie, which is like this giant caged camera where that you actually have to like move around with your arms. So the fact that they're able to get it way up over his head and almost over the edge, that's an insane shot. That's really hard to do. That's crazy. Because it, the camera move took a while, they had to speed ramp it. So they wanted to fit that whole shot into that tiny section. So they had to speed up the middle section of the shot in order for them to fit in the whole camera move that they got. Speed it up. Sometimes you gotta do that as an editor. This is insane. This is, the cinematography of this is actually insane. We always shot towards the stage, the entire video. And then at the very end for this outro, we shoot towards the audience. And then we get all this really crazy backlight. It's such an important job as the editor to keep new angles fresh throughout the entire video. Otherwise you feel like you're seeing the same thing over and over again. So great job holding on this camera angle to the end. Like, this is crazy. Crazy, bro. Wow. Oh, it's not done. Why am I the way that I am? <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>